Yo ho, yo ho, mateys, and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are jumping into Nightwing issue number 107. And with Nightwing taking to the seas, in the last issue, we saw the death of the Quartermaster, the death coming at the hands of Heartless. Him and Zuko together, they went to steal what is called the Hold. The Hold is controlled by an organization of more or less pirates. And in the Hold, you can put anything and everything that you want, regardless of who you are. And Rick Grayson is the one that put this in the Hold. He did this for the day that Dick Grayson ever may return. And so as Nightwing goes to investigate, he goes to find out exactly what this is and what all of this means. When he arrives on the ship, this is when he runs into Captain Bloodhaven, his old ex-girlfriend Beatrice. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up in the past. When Rick Grayson and Beatrice were together, when they were an item, these are the days after Dick Grayson had been shot, that he was another person for quite a while. And while he may not remember all of it, he did lose memories even whole days. He does remember Beatrice. And these two, they have a really quick conversation back in the day. They're talking about this hidden treasure, if you will. What was left behind for Rick Grayson. But he has no concern nor want to find out exactly what it is. The way he sees it, it's not his. It all belongs to Dick Grayson. He wants it to be there in case he ever returns. That's what takes us to present day. Takes us to Beatrice. Captain Bloodhaven. She says to take him to the brig. To bring him up in an hour. Because right now, she has to go check on her father. The man known as the Quartermaster. As Nightwing heads down to the brig, we see that Oracle is still in communications. He's not really sure if he's in danger at this point, but he can tell that the crew, they are not happy. The death of the Quartermaster, they blame on him. They blame him for the death of Captain Blood. The Quartermaster was the first Captain Blood, or at least the previous. Now that Beatrice has taken over, now that the Quartermaster is dead, there of course is a new Captain Blood. Now, like I said, the crew is not happy. They blame Nightwing, and so they go to take him on. Nightwing knows that in this cell, regardless of how good his fighting is, in these close quarters against these numbers, this is a fight he is going to lose. He knows that he can not be locked in here with them, so the fight breaks out. He does everything he can to break loose, to get away from these guys. And as things are about to go real sideways, this is when Captain Blood walks into the room. She lets her men know to stand down. Then she takes Nightwing topside as he offers up his condolences. She says that they're not doing this right now. There is something that she needs him to do. As they have their conversation, him calling her Captain Blood, he finally makes the connection that Bloodhaven, Blood's Haven, this is how the city got its name. That these guys have been here since the beginning. But he goes on to ask, where is the hold? The hold has been moved. Because of Zuko and everything that he did, they had to move it. But before she hands over what they have for Dick Grayson, she needs a favor. Like they said, the hold does not let go. Nightwing must pay what is owed. This is how the hold works. After Zuko's attempt to steal the hold, he should have faced justice. But the Quartermaster agreed to release him into Nightwing's custody, believing that he would face justice in Bloodhaven through the judicial system. The only problem? Zuko escaped. He led Heartless right back to the hold. And now the Quartermaster is dead. Beatrice's father is dead. She goes on to say that she had been adopted. There are certain people in the crew that see her reign, her title of captain, as illegitimate. Furthermore, the Quartermaster had another child, a blood child, his name being Dirk, Dirk Blood, and Dirk Blood is a bad dude. If he gets his hands on the crew of the Cross Keys, this organization will become real nasty. Beatrice obviously doesn't want this to happen. She has been working so hard to make this organization something worthwhile, not just a bunch of crooks and criminals. What she is asking of Nightwing is to kidnap him and take him to any country that has a warrant out for his arrest. The truth is, he's a really bad dude. 
so there are many countries that want him right now. She tells him to go downstairs, get dressed, change up, and come back up when you're ready to take care of things. Because the truth is, you can't be walking around as Nightwing. As he goes to change, this is where him and Oracle have a conversation, learning that Dirk is truly a bad dude. Murder, arms dealing, human trafficking, just the worst of the worst. And Oracle does make note that you are now taking a cruise with your ex. And while he tries to say that we are seizing a criminal, they both know that apprehending a murderous monster can be romantic. And what he is wearing, ooh la la, what he is wearing, Oracle tells him that you need to make sure you bring that home along with a little mustache. That he is really swashing that buckle. And so when Nightwing goes topside, we see what he is wearing, and even Captain Blood is like, what are you wearing? He tells her that this was the only thing that would fit that was in the chest. But Nightwing didn't check the cupboard, where the rest of the normal clothes were. But she does say that now on Captain's orders, you have to wear this the rest of the time we work together. You're gonna dress like the cover of a romance novel for the rest of the duration. But this is quickly broken up because we have a sailor overboard. Bringing the ship to full stop, Nightwing goes to jump into the water, but he hesitates. He freezes up, his pulse is racing, his heart is pounding. There is something wrong with Nightwing. Captain Blood taking the rope from him and jumping in to rescue this man's life. As they bring him aboard, they find out that somebody pushed him, but he didn't see whom. Obviously, people are thinking that maybe Nightwing did this. He wasn't too keen to jump in and save him. And while Nightwing does apologize, he has no idea what's going on. He simply froze, with Captain Blood coming into the quarters. She knows that he didn't push the man. Someone on board did this. Someone is acting for her brother. Dirk probably wants her dead, which means they need to take him down now. She also lets Nightwing know that if somebody else is watching us, if someone else is looking through your mask, you have to throw it overboard because nobody can see our destination. Saying goodbye to Oracle and that he loves her, that all will be fine, they take off. The mask being thrown into the ocean. Nightwing had been shot. He became another person. He doesn't remember all of it. He lost moments, entire days. But he remembers her. He doesn't even know if he would have been able to find his way back without her. He had been drowning. She kept him afloat. He walked away from her once. He may not know where they are heading, but this time, he is sticking by her side. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Obviously, you guys can tell I had a lot of fun with this issue. I'm a huge pirate fan. I have multiple tattoos depicting pirates in some way, shape, or form. Whether it be dead men tell no tales, whether it be the skeletons going up my sleeve on my arm, whether it be the giant skeleton that I have tattooed on my ribs. I love pirates. And so having Nightwing pretty much become a pirate, become a swashbuckler, I am 100% here for this comic. And I'm gonna say this, cause I'm not gay, but dang does Nightwing freaking work it as a pirate. He truly does look something like straight off of one of those romance novels. But this was a good issue, it's moving it forward, it had a lot of little fun in here, a lot of little jabs, making fun of Nightwing, but also making him wear that costume, probably the best part of the comic. But I'm very excited to see where all of this is going to go. We're gonna di dive deep into the lore of Bloodhaven where it all began, where it all started, how it came to be. I am 100% here for this comic. I say it all the time, Tom Taylor, he's usually better with uh, other world situations, else world, whatever you want to call it. But when it comes to Nightwing, Tom Taylor has been knocking it out of the freaking park. It's going to be a sad day when he leaves this title. But let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with the swashbuckling Nightwing, go ahead, check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on on with this series. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership, much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50, from loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you're unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this
this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.